Choosing your 2D animation software. If you want to learn hand-drawn animation, doing it on paper is the best way to go because it forces you not to cheat with the digital medium and the tools it has to offer. Would I animate a whole finished and polished looking film on paper? Actually, I did that with a film on Serenade to Miet and I hated that process. Maybe you don't have access to an animation desk, animation paper, or down shooter. Your next best option is to get a digital 2D animation software. Well, that's how I learned a bit of animation when I was growing up in Southeast Asia. The most common question I get in all of my private or direct messages is, what software do you use for your animation? Whenever I teach a class, I let my students animate in any software they want. First of all, let me tell you that when it comes to producing hand-drawn animation with great animation, software isn't everything. The only time I would count software as a factor is when you're using a technology in that software that is specific to your work, that is more outside of the box such as rigging, special brushes, and more. Other than that, software isn't everything. There's plenty of 2D animation software to choose from nowadays, but are they all good enough to learn or do hand-drawn 2D animation? In this video, I'll be giving out a criteria of what to look for when choosing your own software that's great for following the videos in this tutorial package or when you're just simply producing your own 2D animation. Number one, it allows you to draw. This is a no-brainer, but your animation software must have the most basic tools for drawing, such as a standard brush with an eraser. If that's all the software provides, that's fine if you just want to produce rough animation work. Number two, it allows you to do frame-by-frame, -frame, flipbook, hand-drawn animation. Like in paper animation, each sheet of paper is a completely new drawing. The software should allow you to do frame-by-frame -frame animation, meaning it allows you to have new drawings in each frame. Number three, you can flip through or roll through your drawings. Flipping is a technique where you toggle between different drawings back and forth. Rolling is where you scrub through each drawing to see how each drawing sort of moves. If you know me, I heavily emphasize on these techniques. Number four, it has onion skidding and light table tools. There should be an option that allows you to see your previous and next drawings while working with the current frame you're on. In traditional animation, animators utilize the light table underneath their animation disk so they can see the drawings or the papers underneath. In some digital animation software, they dub this option as the onion skidding tool, for it resembles the thin layer of an onion skin when enabled. Number five, it allows you to export it into an image sequence at least, but movie files are recommended. When you have your animation done, make sure your software can export it into a universal format. Image files such as JPEGs, PNGs, and TGAs are fine, for you can bring them into the video editing software, which you can then arrange them in order. Movie files such as MP4s, AVIs, and QuickTime movies are fantastic too and can easily be uploaded online for public viewing. So let's end this video with some example softwares I have personally experienced. Hopefully, this will give you some options out there. TV Paint is a great program by TV Paint Development. To me, it's like Flash with the drawing capabilities of Photoshop. It is an amazing and powerful software as it allows you to utilize your own creativity. While it is hard to get used to at first, the results are rewarding. It's a raster software, meaning that it measures everything in pixels. If you were to zoom in very close, you'd see pixels. This is a software I highly recommend. For this animation video course, I am using TV Paint as my main software for demos and such. Adobe Animate, also known as Flash, is a vector-based software, meaning instead of pixels, everything is measured by points. The advantage of a vector software is that you can choose to change the resolution and the size of the picture at any time. Flash is widely used and a highly popular software used by many YouTube animators. You can save assets in a library and reuse them later on. Out of all the AAA 2D animation softwares, Flash is probably the easiest one to get into and has the biggest community so far. Toon Boom is a mainstream 2D animation software and it is used by many leading animation studios out there. To me, it is Flash on steroids. It has advanced tools such as custom brushes, advanced rigging tools, a robust system for deformers, and more. It is also vector-based. While you can make great 2D animation in the software, being able to create highly sophisticated rigs is a great tool to have. OpenTunes is a free open source software. It became shortly popular when it was announced for free but it's also known for being used by animation studios like Ghibli. Therefore, this is an industry software. Now, with that being said, its learning curve might be pretty steep, so I would highly recommend looking at guides and tutorials for this. But once you overcome that complex learning curve, 
It is a software that has a lot to be desired. And up to this day, people are still modifying and finding new things with the software. If you're looking for something that's simpler, but also free, I would recommend Pencil 2D. One thing I like about Pencil 2D is that the user interface is very simple. Not only is the layout of the program simple, but what it can do. I recommended this to my students if they needed something free and easy to learn. In fact, I think this is a good tool to see whether you like animation or not. But otherwise, it's still an able 2D animation software. Krita is also a free software that's mostly used for illustration. However, they added animation features that work pretty well. It comes with templates and layouts, so that's a plus. You can easily change the layout from illustration to animation with a click. Even though it started off as an alternate painting program, the animation features still allow you to paint, it allows you to flip, it's great. I can see people come up with finished looking work with this program, so this is one I also highly recommend. But it also has a great community. Did you know that you can also animate in Adobe Photoshop? Yes, it is possible to animate in Photoshop, and no, I do not use their default animation timeline. Photoshop is tricky because it isn't meant to be a full-on animation software, but it can be done. The way I animate in Photoshop is that I utilize the layer comps option, export all my comps into an image sequence, and place the image sequences into a video editing. I then time my images manually through this process of video editing. Animating in Photoshop doesn't have the best instant playback option, but it's probably the best and closest thing to animating on paper because of that limitation. So in other words, if you don't have access to an animation desk and a down shooter, but you want to experience that discipline, this is the next best option for you to get that traditional animation discipline. So that's my little talk on 2D animation software. If you guys are interested in any of the softwares I mentioned, please do yourself a favor and find other online guides and videos on how to use that software. My video package is meant to teach animation process, not the software. Software can easily be taught, and the community of users placing tutorials and guides online is huge. Whichever software you guys choose to use to follow this class or to produce 2D animation of your own, I hope it'll serve you. Interested in learning hand-drawn animation or learning how to finish an animated shot from beginning to end? Have a look at the store where you'll find the complete introduction to 2D animation video course, tutorials, and other resources. Learn classical animation approaches, drawing, lectures, techniques, and other process videos. Visit the store through the link in the description below.